Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Awesome that you joined me today for episode number 52, where I'm going to show you the rank function in Quantrix, as well as, you know, maybe a common pitfall that we have when we're writing certain functions like the rank function. I think this would also apply to the count if function and other functions uh, along those lines. I have here a very simple data set. I have some of my favorite places in the world uh, for location. I better put Ukraine down here. I like Ukraine. So and we'll give it some random value if we're talking about favorite places in the world. And I have sales for each of one of these favorite places in the world and or each one of these locations. And what I want to do is I want to rank the sales associated with each one of these locations. And how I would do that is I'd go ahead and create an item, which I did previously, and I called it rank. Now what I want to do is I want to say, well, rank is equal to the rank of what number do I want to rank? I want to rank the sales. And what is my list? It's also sales. And I can then put in, I think, a 1 and a 0, depending on if I want the rank to be ascending or descending. And I put a close print, and then what happens when I hit enter like that? I'm like, well, I just got ones. Didn't I tell it to rank all of them? Well, what it's doing is it's kind of ranking itself among itself. What I need to do is I need to add some recursion here to the sales. And that I'm, I need to add some recursion here to the value list, really. So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and put colon here to separate another item and put in location. And I want it to be the first location, okay? And I want it to go dot dot to really sales location to the last location. That way it knows, hey, don't only consider, you know, the location or the location that I'm on and its sales, but I want you to consider this entire range or array of locations here. Okay, so once I go ahead and I do that, you can see that Ukraine has the, the highest sales. And, and you can see that clearly from this number also. Then you would see that the next one it would be Nauvoo. If I went ahead and I sorted this, you would see that this rank function actually worked the way it needed to. So that's how you use the rank function in Quantrix Modeler. Uh, make sure you use some, uh, some of the recursion there on the value list. And again, that applies to several of our functions in Quantrix as far as rank, maybe count if, and I think some sum if as, as well as other functions. Anyway, hope that's helpful. If you have any questions about any functions in Quantrix Modeler, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Maybe not about the function kurtosis because I'm not exactly sure what that one is, but any other functions, feel free to reach out to me and I'll try to help you uh, solve how to use them in Quantrix. I absolutely love Quantrix. And I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.